Someone from my Discord server showed me this text effect from a website. And you notice on the text, as you hover on W, it gets hovered. So the hover continues until you get to the end. And same thing if you're going back. So they asked if I could replicate this. I tried it out. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to achieve the same thing. By the way, if you want to join my Discord server, it's deco.com slash Discord. On there, I post different web updates and I try to answer questions from people related to web development. So here I have this text here. So so I have my header with my H1 and in this H1 I have this bunch of spans here. So each of these span contains one character and you can probably achieve this effect in many other ways but this is how I was able to achieve it. For the header I have all of these styles here with this beautiful clip path polygon. I'm going to make a different video on clip path polygon to show you the different kind of polygons you can create. Each of the span has a margin left of minus 15 pixels and the reason why I put that is if I remove it for example example you can see that because they are all span elements they have some spaces between them so with margin left minus 15 pixels they can come together now the first thing that I want to do is I want to add my text stroke so I'm going to use WebKit text stroke and this is going to be two pixels white I'm also going to add the text stroke two pixels white and here we don't really see the stroke and that's because the color is currently white so if I use the color to be transparent and this should also contain just one hyphen and now you can see we have the stroke now what we're gonna do is that when you hover on any of the span elements then we want the color to go back to white so here I can add a transition for the color property 300 milliseconds so now when you hover on W it gets white E L C H O M E but then how do we do it in such a way where if you hover E, W is also white. If you hover C, W, E, L is also white. Well, this is where we can use the hash pseudo class. And the hash pseudo class is super powerful. So here we can say H1 span, or let me just keep this at span. So if a span has a sibling span in the hover state, then we want this span to have a color of white. Sorry, I'm still going to explain this, but let's see how it works. Now, if I hover on W, we have this. If you hover on E, you see W is still white. Same thing as you go to the end. And if you come back, then all the color whites are removed. So let me explain this again. Now, this span can mean this or this or or this or this or this if a span has a sibling span this is the sibling combinator i have a video on css combinators i'll link it in the video description but this is a sibling span which is going to select a span that is a sibling of another span and siblings here are elements that comes after one another so in the case of this span this second span is a sibling of the first span this fifth span is also a sibling of the first span this fifth span is also a sibling of the second Second span. So we're saying that if a span has a sibling span that is currently in the hover state. So if you're currently hovering on this span, that means we're going to select this span and this span because this span is a sibling of this both span. So that's what it's saying here. If a span has a sibling span that is in the hover state, then we want to add this color white to this span. And that way, if you hover on C, since C is a sibling of W, W will be white. It's also a sibling of E, it will also be white. Sibling of L, it will also be white. Just to quickly check what the browser support is, for the Hash Studio class, we have a browser support of 89%. And for Text Stroke, Text Stroke also has like a 97% um, browser support, but you have to use the WebKit version. I hope this video taught you something about CSS and you enjoyed this demo with me. Please give this video a like, share with others, and follow me for more CSS demos like this.